Allahu Akbar. Sometimes, you know, you, you find a spouse would perhaps buy a gift for someone, give someone, and you say, but what about me? Where's mine? I don't want. You know, Valentine's Day for us is every day of the year. Valentine's Day. Every day of the year. Meaning, we don't mean St. Valentine and so on, but expressing love should not just be on a certain day. But I know of Muslims whose marriages have broken because the husband did not bring a rose or a flower or a gift for the wife on the day of Valentine's. Muslims, marriage broken. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day? You? I want out. I want out. All my friends got flowers. I didn't get anything. I want out. Finish. Bad. How am I going to show face to my friends? My sister, you don't need to show face. A marriage that works is not a marriage that is displayed on Facebook. A lot of those are actually not working. That's why they have to show it on Facebook. If yours is working, you're busy working it. You're not busy on the net. Allahu Akbar. So people want to put, oh, me, my husband and I, and you're hugging and you're kissing and the picture's up. Wallahi, the evil eye is the truth. It happens, it comes. You want to show everyone how delighted you are. Tomorrow, broken. What happened? Woo. Everyone was saying, oh. <laughs> what a couple. They're getting along so well. Ooh, Allahu Akbar. People forget Allah's name. And so next thing you're busy fighting and you don't know. Why do you have to show? Why do you have to say, oh, my love, beloved husband and speak to the globe. Tell your husband that. Subhanallah. Tell your wife that. So this is why we say, I know of another marriage that broke because the wife suspected the man of giving her flowers that were supposedly from someone else. How's that? Allahu Akbar. So here comes the day of Valentine's and, and the flowers came. I told you the flowers are supposed to come anytime, not only when you go to the graveyard. Sorry, I need to explain myself. You know, at the graveyard, you get these roses on people's graves. Sometimes the people put, you know, we in Islam, we're not supposed to be doing that. You'd rather make a dua for the deceased than to do that. But some people, when they go to the graveyard and they're standing there, they see a rose. Hey, that's good for my wife. Take it. So the only time they get roses, you know, one woman says, every time my husband gives me a rose, I've got to ask him, did you pass by the graveyard? <laughs> so the reality here is, there was a case and this happens and I'm talking about it because it's connected to the knot. There was a case where a man says he came with the flowers. The flowers are presented. Now there's another problem. What's it? Where did you get these from? Who sent them to you? How did you bring them here? If I don't bring them, there's a problem. If I bring them, there's a problem. Allahu Akbar. What do I do? May Allah help us really learn to appreciate. Like I said, you don't need to probe every detail. If you are kind and good towards your spouse and you give them time, and you look at them often, trust me, the love will increase. If you are kind and good to your spouse, and you, you have good words to say, you have time for them, you look at them often, you talk to them often with good words, trust me, the love will increase. They won't need to go onto the phone in order to find love. They have it at home. There's no deficit, nothing at all. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us, really. By all means, may Allah make dua, ask Allah's help and work towards it.